Hello everyone, welcome back to the lecture. So now we will uh, see a few uh, code books for PB designing. So again, for loading, uh, we have uh, one is dead load, then we have a live load. We have seen about wind load, we have seen about earthquake load. So th this code books are from Indian point of view, okay? Yeah, so uh, I'll just I'll quickly read it out. So for dead load, that is also called a self-weight of materials, we can call it. So it is IS-875 part one. So next comes your live load, it will be IS-875 part two. If it is for wind load, it will be IS-875 part three. For earthquake, we have IS-1893 part one, 2016. And if you're following the ductile detailing clause, it will be IS-13920, okay? Apart from that, this is general code book. This code book is used even for RCC also. And it is used even for the steel structure also. There is no change in this code book. But for steel, mainly this code book is important. For the steel, mainly you are uh, for mainframe. When I say mainframe, it is your per your uh, this thing uh, rafters, the columns, and all. We are using IS 800 2007 code book. LST stands for limit state design. And whatever purlins you are going to put, purlins and the girds and all, they all are cold form section. Since it's a cold form section, we have to refer IS-801. Just remember two things. For normal frame design and all, you are going to use IS-800-2007, that is limit state design. For cold form section, your purlins and all are called as cold form section. Cold form, okay, cold form section. For that, we'll be using IS-801. Okay, and for checking your deflection criteria, no, we have uh, the same code book. This, the same code book we are going to use. That is IS-800-2007. I'll show you the code book also. So the deflection criteria for the crane and all we had seen, no? span by uh, 500 and span by 180. So those things are mentioned in the uh, IS-800 code book. Understood, right? Yeah. Apart from that, we'll understand few other code book. Other than that, uh, we have this uh, code book that is AISC, which stands for uh, American Concrete Institute of Steel of uh, Construction Manual, AISC, American Institute for... Uh, of a steel construction manual, then AISI, this is American Iron and Steel Institute specification. Then MBMB is uh, another code book that is Metal Building Manufacturers Code. Then we have ANSI, that is American National Standards Institute specification. Then we have ASCE, that is American Society for Civil Engineers. And UBC is a Uniform Building Code. Now you don't have to remember everything, okay? So if you remember this one code book, that is MBAMA, this is one thing which you have to remember and this code books you are supposed to remember. Okay. Other than that, this, if you have an idea, it's enough. Like AIS stands for American Institute for Steel uh, Construction Manual. Like we have this IS-800, no? Same thing is your AISC code book. Okay. And you, you basically you can usually remember it is for all buildings, uniform building code. It will explain you what should be a setback distance uh, and uh, what a fire safety and everything is mentioned in this code book. You can even refer this code book. Uh, only remember metal building manufacturers code. This is one important uh, co code for the steel designing. What are the softwares that we are going to use? For designing and for analysis and designing, we'll use StatPro software. Then uh, we'll have our own Excel sheets developed for your uh, uh, design of your sections and all. And then there is one more software called as metal building software. You can use that also. And there's one more software that is uh, uh, this thing, Idea Statica. Idea, Statica, Statica. This is used for your connection, connection uh, design. So connection design in the sense, uh, we have given the bolt and all everywhere, like six bolt on the top, six bolt in the bottom. All these are your connection designing. Okay, so how many number of bolts should come? All those things will can use software like Idea, Statica. And there we are going to do the connection designing. And for modeling purpose, we can use Tecla software. So Tecla is one more software for modeling. Like right now we have seen all these drawings and all, but if you want to see this in the 3D model and all how it looks and all, then we can use Tecla software. So all these things you're going to get in Tecla software. So I'll show you, uh, if you want, I'll show you a few things from Google only. Yeah, so you can see this software, no? I mean, this is Idea Statica software, okay? Idea Statica. And uh, if you see all these things, all these are the connection design. See, they have a column. Then one plate is attached to that. And then all these are the uh, elements what has been attached. Then you can see all these things, no bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six bolt. So it will tell all these things will be having, you are going to design 
how much number of bolts should come each and everything you are going to design again when i say designing it will tell but you are the one who has to decide whether six number of bolt is enough or not for that certain manual calculation and certain understanding you should be having so always remember software never tell you put six bolt or you put eight bolt okay software will do only the analysis and give you it will tell whether it is pass or fail but even if you provide eight bolt also it may tell pass even if you provide six bolt also it will tell you pass but whether to go with six bolt or eight bolt you have to decide for that certain calculations and all should you you should be knowing certain calculations and all for that that is where your uh, basic knowledge about structure and code book knowledge is important okay or again all these things are your uh, idea statica all this connection designing we are going to do so that is how all this base plate and all everything we are going to do what should be the thickness of the base plate everything you are going to do with the help of uh, idea static only you see here this column they have done then all these are stiffeners they have given so what should be the height of the stiffener everything you have the option you see base plate is written so this is a base plate what material you want what, so what we usually do let's say you are starting with a designing initially let me go with the 16 mm of a thickness of the base plate and i'll run the analysis in the analysis it will tell me whether 16 mm plate is sufficient or not so if it is not sufficient it will give me error not sufficient then instead of 16 we can go with 20 mm if 20 is also not sufficient go for 24 mm then go for uh, 24 is sufficient then you can go for 30 and all okay that is why and according to that what should be the anchoring length anchoring length means this is your anchor length no this is anchoring length so what should be the length of this so initially i have given a 300 mm so again it will tell whether 300 is sufficient or not if it is not sufficient you can go with 400 again you say anchor type so if you remember i told you there are different anchor bolts we have straight then we have this uh, uh, l type then we have this uh, j type right so here anchor type you have here they have given straight maybe if you drop down here again you have maybe you get a j type you get a l type also so everything is there in the software and whether if you want uh, weld if welding connection is to be done you can give what should be the thickness of a weld there is a 6 mm weld 4 mm weld and all you can give everything you can give you can check everything finally it's your decision whether to go with the uh, 300 mm length whether to go with 400 mm length and all those things you have to decide that software will never tell software will give you a value you should know how to interpret those value okay yeah so i think yeah i have explained few things that is good actually um yeah i think that much is enough rest things anyhow if you are learning uh, if you want to learn all these things you can tell me i'll suggest you few courses i don't have any course on steel designing but i have few of my sirs and my mentors i can suggest you there from there you can learn all these things okay yeah yeah apart from that the next is tecla in tecla we'll do the modeling of all these things tecla tecla software so this is your tecla software in tecla software you'll do all this modeling and all okay like how the column will look see all these are your steel columns then after that these are your beams then all the bolt you can see okay then uh, you can see the bracings given here okay apart from that let me show you few more images in tecla so tecla also has a good scope again you should decide which field you want to go so i usually i usually see lot of students learning everything they are learning tecla also they are learning ms project also they are learning primavera also it's of no use ms project and primavera is your planning software so if you want to work as a planning engineer there is no point in learning tecla so that is why you first you have to decide which field you want to get into then you can uh, uh, yeah then you can decide again you see columns are there beams are there you can see the bracings all these things modeling will be done in tecla model so the advantage is that you can take out the quantities and all everything i haven't used tecla but i'm telling you so with this you'll get a proper 3d model and all no so that will be easy for the execution on the side people will get to know what is your front view what is your back uh, i mean front view then your north side view and all how the supports are coming how the beams are looking but anyhow in my course i have shown you practically from the side so i think that much understanding will be having okay all these things the so tecla you can see no or oh, this are the modeling they have done hmm? yeah fine i think uh, yeah this is enough most of the things i have covered um done so code book is also covered uh, all that uh, softwares are covered um, that's it last another one lecture we'll try to few more we'll try to see few more things in the next lecture and uh, that will bring us to the end of all this uh, uh, theory concepts uh, and all this uh, practical things what we have understood then we'll get into the execution part so i'll see you back in the next lecture thank you